Hello friends, customer retention, which means retaining a paying consumer is one of the most critical activities that any organization performs. Why is it so important? According to many studies, acquiring a new consumer is often five to 25 times costlier than retaining an already paying consumer. No doubt it has huge impact on overall performance of an organization and therefore it assumes strategic significance. The job of any business manager or marketing manager revolves around customer retention mostly nowadays. So why is it so difficult to drive customer retention? Why is it so difficult to hold on to consumers? And how can one do that? While customer retention by itself is a huge subject and a big practice, there are many theories, many models, and many ways of doing it. It also differs from category to category, industry to industry, business to business. However, there are fundamental rules that cut across all these differences in terms of industry, category, behavior, models, etc. I call these the S4 defense system for a brand. So what is this S4 defense system for customer retention and how does one activate it? It's important for every marketing and business manager to know. And this must be a part of your arsenal. So let's talk about this S4 customer retention defense system for brands. The first S is seriousness. A customer wants himself or herself to be taken absolutely seriously when they are reaching out to the brand, whether it's to give any feedback, address a grievance, or anything else. A consumer or a customer when it reaches out to the brand needs to be immediately taken care of. And how can brands do that? The formula for that is one word, empathy. Businesses and brands must have consumer empathy. Empathy towards your paying customers, paying consumers. Only when you empathize with their problems that you will try to seriously solve that. It needs to be built as part of an organization's culture and must be part of brand manual. The second S is seamlessness. Consumers in today's interconnected world want more and more seamlessness in their experience with the brand. They want everything to be perfectly planned. They want no hiccups. They want things to work out in a predefined processed manner. And this seamlessness is one of the key attributes today around which many a value propositions or even organizational strategies are being built. There are multiple ways to drive seamlessness, but two important ways that consumers expect. One is omnichannel experience, and second is simplified processes. Today's customer is a connected customer. They are everywhere. They are on mobile, they are on uh, desktop devices, uh, they are, they are uh, on phone, they are interacting with you in multiple ways and they can reach out to you through any of these channels or a combination of any of these channels and they expect you to provide seamless service across any of these channels. What's more, they expect you to know if they have reached out to you through one channel and subsequently they reach out to you through another channel. They expect you to know what was the previous conversation and therefore it needs to be taken forward from where they left. This requires technology-driven consumer services or consumer response mechanisms. The second important aspect of seamlessness is simplified processes. Consumers don't care about how complicated is your business or what kind of challenges are there in the backend. They are only concerned about their cause, their problem statement, and they want a resolution of that problem statement as soon as possible. So a consumer expects your processes to be simplified enough so that they don't have to go through the hassle of connecting with different departments and filling up multiple forms, etc. The third S and the most important aspect of this defense mechanism is speed. In this globalized, interconnected internet era, we all are used to speed of service today. No one has patience and consumers want services to be delivered super fast. So a couple of things are very important when you're dealing with consumers. One, time to respond. When a consumer is reaching out to you through any means, you need to have the processes and the technology in place to be able to immediately respond to those messages. The responses may or may not be a solution to the problem, but at least the message of being heard is an important one for consumers. 
And the second important aspect of that is proactiveness. Today, more and more consumers expect a brand to proactively be aware of the challenges and issues that a consumer or a customer might be facing. Thanks to AI, machine learning, data analytics, and related tools, today, a brand can proactively know if there's an issue that can come about and resolve that before the issue even hits the consumer. And the last and an important S of this S4 defense mechanism is status. Every customer, every consumer wants to be treated like a VIP consumer. And brands must have processes and soft skills developed to treat consumers like that. One important aspect of this VIP treatment is personalization. When you're addressing a consumer, do you address using first name? Are you having conversations? Do you know customers' requirements? Are you giving tailor-made solutions and so on? And the second important aspect of treating consumers like VIP is incentivization. Incentivizing a consumer every time a consumer reaches out or is doing something with the brand is extremely important. Every consumer wants to feel good about associating with a brand. And one important aspect of delivery of that feel good factor is rewards and incentives. I hope as business and marketing practitioner, this will be of some help to you. See you.